Hi, my name is Melissa Porter. I am a resource teacher at a Title I elementary school. I currently have around 15 students on my caseload, two of which are ELL learners. Uh, the first, he is a level one, and the second, he is a level four learner. So in my class, it's generally broken down into small groups, varying between one and five students in each group. Um, some groups start out in reading skills at the very beginning with letter names, sounds, and others are further along where we're into comprehension, syntax, and reading fluency. I also have some writing groups and math mixed in there throughout the day as well. So as each student comes into my class, their instruction is individualized, of course, into what they need, which through this class, I feel like has really helped me into that to make it in more in depth, especially with my ELL learners. So my first example is a level one student and he would say char instead of car. So as you can hear, he's saying the ch or the postal violar African in place of the k, the C, which would be the voiceless volar stop. So, and that's just one example. He will replace the ch, the ch, and the, for the C, the k sound very frequently throughout the day. Um, my second example is actually from the same student. So another one sound that he will switch is instead of saying the R in red, he will say a W, with the, which would be the wood, the wed, sorry. Um, so he's using a bilabial spot when he speaks instead of the alveolar. Um, another example of how he does this, because they are both voice central sounds, would be instead of saying frame, he says flame. Sorry if my pronunciation's a little off. Um, as you can see in both, he's changing or substituting those around. Um, with this student, I have chose to correct him, not every single time, but I pick and choose throughout the day. So he still has the confidence to speak up, but to influence um, his speaking as part of his goals because he is also a speech student. I've worked with the teacher to pick those correct times, when to correct him, and how to properly correct him. So, and it has helped, especially when he's in my classroom and reading, to be able to change it around. So, the third example I have is actually my level four student. And with this student, at first I didn't notice anything when he was speaking because he's very fluent in his speaking English. But as soon as he started to read or write, that's when I really noticed the errors. So, as he's reading, he frequently omits words. Um, the one that I found the most common are when he omits determiners in his reading. So, one example is he read the sentence, Sabrina wants to ride her bike to school. But he would read it as, Sabrina wants ride bike to school. So as you can see, he omits the to and her in that sentence. A second sentence as an example would be, I saw a dog on the playground. But he read this as, I saw dog on playground. So again, we can see he's omitting a uh, and the. Now these aren't always necessarily determiners, but throughout his reading, I have noticed that the most common word he's omitting are the determiners in the sentence. So whatever's um, coming before is what he does. So with this, one of the things is I actually have a game where we practice reading every single word. So as he reads, I keep track of errors. And it's not every error, it's we start with a paragraph. How many, let's make less than five errors in a paragraph. And we kind of turn it into a game and it's actually been working. So by him pr really practicing tracking as he's reading, he's able to read those errors. Um, I do see him omitting more when he gets in a rush and he's not as careful, which is a common thing with his reading. So we'll continue to work on correcting that, getting him to slow down as he reads and writes. So that is all for my three examples. Thank you.